Whoa! What's up, folks? Welcome to the fourth episode of Tales from the Archive on Handelabra Games. I'm Zach from Another Letdown Media and the Adjacent Hex Podcast. I'll be your host this evening. Uh, Tales from the Archive is the show where we use the medium of Sentinel, Sentinels of the Multiverse, the digital game, to tell a story of some kind. Kind of as it was intended. Some will be tales from the actual story, uh, Sentinel storylines, and others will be totally original or based on previous work. For consistency, for consistency's sake, I do try to match each story up with an existing Sentinel Comics title, excuse me, title uh, that has been mentioned previously, but by no means does that, of course, make them real in any way. Uh, there will often be times where we deliberately make a play that may not make the most sense strategically because it contributes in some way to the narrative we've created. We will do our best to win games, but even heroes fall sometimes, and that, of course, just makes for great stories. As with all the shows on Handle Arbor Games, uh, we believe in civil rights for absolutely everyone and in being as inclusive as possible, so any comments or activity actively working against that goal is not welcome and will not be tolerated. So, without any more delay, I say we open Ye Olde Book of the Multiverse and get this party started. Today's story takes a walk on the sillier side of Sentinel Comics to a story from Tome of the Bazaar called Protectors of the Planets, for copyright reasons. In issue one, we find the heroes known as Setback and Expatriate hanging out on a filthy rooftop in Rook City. Expatriate has just finished cleaning her prize guns, Prejudice and Pride, and Setback is busy reading the latest clickbait on his phone, a task made somewhat difficult by the fact that he keeps dropping the device. As he chuckles at a video someone posted of a cat sitting on a library shelf with its head in a book, his home, his home, his phone vibrates, causing him to drop it off the rooftop. Nearly slipping and falling himself in his desperate attempt to recover it, and being caught at the last second by his partner, he listens and waits for the inevitable sound of his phone shattering on the pavement below. Surprisingly, it doesn't come. Instead, he hears an, he hears an audible OW, and he peers over the edge. A huge man, wearing clothes unusual even for Rook City, was holding his phone and rubbing a sore spot on his head. He is followed by what appeared to be a rhinoceros, but when Setback blinks his eyes, there are two men. Must have been a trick of the light, thought Pete to himself. Hello there, he calls good-naturedly. I don't suppose you might want to return that to me. The huge man looks up, revealing the familiar face of the hero Haka. Setback breathes a sigh of relief. Haka reaches his arm back to toss the phone upward, back toward its owner, but the man behind him, revealing himself as the naturalist, adopts the form of a gazelle, and taking the phone in its mouth, bounds upward to the rooftop to, sa to return it safely to Setback. Turning back into a human, Michael Conte hands the phone over, reminding Setback to be more careful next time. Setback nods his apology, and opens the phone to investigate the source of the vibration. Seeing the red indicator of an unopened email from an unfamiliar source, he begins to read aloud. Artifact, Enclave of the Endlings, blah blah blah, evil blah blah, this is boring, he groans as he deletes the email. Setback looks, er, Expatriate looks up from her work. Maybe we should go. There's nothing going on here anyway, she suggests, always antsy for a job. But how would we get there? Are you hiding a spaceship in your arsenal these days? Haka climbs up to the rooftop, just as the naturalist offers... You don't think Pike Industries could be har harboring any alien artifacts, do you? So in game one, we... Uh, we find our heroes breaking into... Uh, I selected the wrong environment. Whoops. Um, breaking into Pike Industrial to try and liberate any... What in the world? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Breaking into Pike Industrial to liberate any uh, alien artifacts that might be stored there. And once again, I tried to fix the camera and it still is not working. It, it was working when I went live and now it's just decided to start lagging again. So I will still continue to putter around with that in the interim. But what's important is that the game is still working perfectly fine. So yeah, uh, it, it is. And that's such, such is what threw me off. Um... I am going to try something a little bit different with Tales from the Archive today, uh, since the the game does sort of play out in 
the, the way that a comic book would read. I'm going to do less sort of commentary on like what each character is saying. I will still do that, of course, but not. I'm not going to focus too much effort on it. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll narrate my actual card plays a little bit better um, because it's it's really difficult to sort of separate my brain in that way. And it, it also causes me to speed up my play to a point where it's almost impossible to follow it, even from the perspective of the person actually playing the cards. So we'll, uh, we'll see how that works. As the heroes break into Pike Industrial, they are greeted by an, a strange sort of silence. Setback bristles as he feels uncomfortable and around and mentions this to his partners. Wow, I can read. Uh, Expatriate cocks her guns suspiciously. As they round a corner, an imposing visage peers out from behind from from the shadows. Cower before the might of the Therathian conquering fleet. So we are indeed fighting Grand Warlord Voss in Pike Industrial Complex. Um, setback starts with Fumbling Fool, a brace of high-risk high behaviors, and a whoops, sorry. Haka starts with an elbow smash, Enduring Intercession, Rampage, and Taieha. We are, of course, looking to draw Savage Mana in this fight early on. Uh, Expatriate starts with Incendiary Rounds, Pride, Reload, and Unload. Seems like she's doing a lot of loading today. Naturalist has Crafty Assault, Shifter's Strength, the Deadly Crocodile, and the Formidable Rhinoceros. So it's two of his forms, that's kind of nice. From behind Grand Warlord Voss appears a Gene-bound Ion Lancer. A Gene-bound Shock Infantry. Another Gene-bound Shock Infantry. Sorry, a brace of Gene-bound Shock Infantry. Uh, and a Gene-bound Psy Weaver. Mind what attacks you're using, shouts Expatriate. I've dealt with these before. Sat back and Haka, er, Expatriate and Haka dive in front of the first wave of damage. The Psyweaver rears up and hits everything with a psionic attack. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to make that happen, Darren, uh, based on the um, general overall layout of what I've what I've put together for today. Um, Gene Bound Banshee, most cards in play. Well, nobody has the most cards in play, so I will stick with our play of having Expatriate and Haka be in the front line on this first turn. Um... Setback is going to, I think, start out with uh, Bumbling Fool, but we'll take a look here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be Bumbling Fool. And we'll add some tokens. And we will add another token, getting us to five. Whoops, sorry. Well, that's... If I were strictly doing the correct play, Darren, yeah, that, that, that would be correct. But, uh, again... Haka looks around the room and immediately smashes his elbow into the back of what's doing the most damage here. And probably the Psy Weaver. But just because Psy Weaver's hitting everything, so of the Psy Weaver that hit all his himself and his partners for groups of damage. Then he turns around and I need to actually know what his power is called. Crush. And lays a crushing blow on the shock infantry. Expatriate cocks her cocks her favorite one of her favorite guns proudly. 
takes aim and eliminates one of the, the shock infantry. Ooh, submachine gun, that's a good pickup. Uh, let's see, naturalist. What's he going to do? Aha! The naturalist adopts the form of a crocodile, noting the rest of his teammates dealing as much damage as they possibly could. Bites down hard on the gene-bound ion lancer. Warlord Voss cackles in the background. Yes, my minions. Setback thinks to himself, he must be up to no good. He wouldn't send this many gene-bound wackos at us otherwise. Oh, biometric plasma bat. Setback trips and falls over something glowing and green. Hey, look what I found! He says. The heroes look around and suddenly feel slightly better. Of course, the Psyweaver's back. As, the, as another Psyweaver appears and makes for another nasty start. He, setback sits up from tripping over the vat and thinks, well, at least I didn't fall in it. Alright, what's good here? Tomoko would be very strong based on the fact that there's a lot of damage coming from a lot of different directions. However, I really like the idea of Taieha because it can get rid of two of the gene-bound dummies in one shot. So I'm going to go ahead with... Haka pulls a stump out from his back... or uh, what looks to set back to be a stump from, from his pack and swings it wildly in the direction of the Psy Weaver and the Banshee. Haka looks up from his swing, confused as to why the Banshee didn't fall. Expatriate swaps pride for a submachine gun. But still, or, sorry, readies a submachine gun for as soon as the VAT can be out, is out of the way. Evening, Lord Flashfire. I'm sure Dolphin and Darren and whomever else happens to be here would be happy to fill you in. In the meantime, the naturalist looks around. And sneaks into the shadows, launching a crafty assault. Expatriate shouts, "Get rid of that last infantry, so we can hit, so we can hit Voss." Well, that's interesting. Hey, what's this? We've got green glowing over here and orange glowing over here. Um. Anybody get the feeling that this this place is stacked against us? Lovely. Looking around the room and noticing that all his minions are gone, Warlord Voss becomes angered. His fists begin to glow. Setback thinks. Setback says aloud, "That's not good, is it?"
treading on his partner's submachine gun. Some shots go off and eliminate the cyclohexane bag. rush. That's a pretty good draw. What do we got here? Um, gosh, it's all melee. Could it be that uh, Expatriate is going to have to take care of the Stalwart herself? It's going to be really frustrating. Tomoko's coming out. It's melee, so that's not helpful. Here we go. I guess um, Hair Trigger Reflexes is really good. Um, incendiary Rounds is, of course, good as well. Um, I mean, three fire damage. Yeah, let's. I, we gotta start dealing with Stalwart here. I can change her damage type, the better we're off, better off we're gonna be. Um, that's it's not, in, but it's environment target, so that's gonna be a lot useful later, and you guys will find out why. Um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and shift her strength, get rid of those, and draw two cards. Uh, that's not helpful. Um, that could be very useful. In fact, we'll do that. Uh, I'll go ahead and look at Grand Warlord Voss's deck. Wait, what? Oh, any two decks. Um, go ahead and do Pike Industrial as well. Frosthound we can handle. Lab Rat, that's fine. Oh, what? really? Wait, what are the odds of that? Is this is this a hashtag blame John? Is it literally like identical cards off both decks? That's weird. That's super strange. I mean, I guess not impossible, but like God, that that's really weird. <laughs> Doesn't that seem suspicious, Dolphin? But I mean, I guess we know what's coming, so that's nice. Yeah, someone called Napacross. <laughs> he was always able to figure out odds of weird things. Yes, hashtag thanks, John. I like it. Much, much agreed. Expatriate looks up with a rat hanging off of her arm and starts shaking it up and down. She's like, why does this not hurt? Sat back shrugs and continues punching things. Oh gosh, this is bad. I'm kind of happy this bat is still in play. Like... There's a lot of shenaniganery going on. How can we make Blame John scan to the tune of Blame Canada? I'm not sure I understand what you mean, Dex Show. <laughs> Alright, Reckless Rush time. Setback looks around and decides that the, the correct course of action is to run into battle recklessly. This is melee, so I can't deal the stalwart or anything. Let's 
decreased a bunch by that. He runs smack into both, hims both himself and a Psyweaver. Ow! He says, looking up. See what I did there? Oops, hey, what's going on? Jerk. Jerk game! Hmm. Well, it's gonna be four. And again, it's melee. That's so annoying. Like... Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be really funny. And now everybody takes one from the rampage because of Plasma Bat. Versus putting. Ay, ay, ay. Um, yeah, I think, well, I mean, Hair Trigger Reflex is, is great, but I have to find a way to get rid of the, the, that first, and that's not strong. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna go with Liquid Nitro rounds and keep pummeling the Stalwart for one. I mean, Haka and the, the Naturalist are still doing okay, but, like, the, the problem is it's just, like, I have the crocodile. Aha! That's kind of nice. Um, I'm gonna look, but I don't know that we necessarily need one. Oh, that's okay. Well, all right. Okay, yeah, there's our other lab rat, and we know that that thing is coming. Oh my gosh. The rats continue to feed, try and attempt to feed on Expatriate, who continues to shake them off. This is a problem. Okay, we knew that was coming. One damage here and there, not the worst, but like, it's down to seven cards and or oh, and trash. Okay, never mind. 15 cards in deck, though, that's, like, still not strong. Oh, hold the baby. Yeah, of course he does. Alright. That's starting to get to be a problem. Um... So many unlucky tokens. I mean, okay, here we go. Let's do this, and it is melee damage, so that's not ideal. Um, damage to everything. I really need to deal something with this. It's causing problems. Oh boy. Alright. That was probably not wise either. Um. During intercession, 
may not be the worst here. Expatriate and setback are really, really not sitting pretty right now. We are still quite early on in this game in terms of actually dealing damage to Vo to Voss. Hmm. Um. All right. Well, Haka's rampage is going to continue. I should have done that first. That was dumb. Whatever. Should be one, one to each. All right. Yeah, that's fine. I know it does nothing. Um. Although Haka does not. Haka would be recklessly attacking the Stalwart, even if he can't re technically reach it. Wow. Um, Alright, we're going to reload and get that incendiary back. Attach it to Pride. We'll do the same thing again next turn, assuming we don't draw anything useful. Which seems to be the... Uh, I mean, oh, tactical shotgun might not be the worst. It is still projectile damage, so that's kind of cool. Um, long term... Resilient hide seems better. And we'll start gaining some HP. <laughs> that seems good. Yep, exactly, Deck Show. Thank you. We are we are trusting what we get. Experimental Mutagen. Oh, I haven't seen that in a while. When this card enters play, put all rats from the... Oh, lovely. It's just two, two lab rats, so that's not the worst, but... I think they're actually going to start dealing damage to Expatriate here. And there's a bunch of health gain. Yep, that's about right. Patriot and Setback being chomped on by rats, and now we start to see some damage appearing on the cards. Lovely. There's a solid chance that our heroes drop here. A Genebound Guard, of course it is. From around a corner steps a Genebound Guard. Good gosh, guys. Alright. Yep, 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 yep. So setback is now at three health. If and one player. Yes, happily. We'll put another surprising fortune into play. Again, probably not the right play, but removing two tokens and gaining some health health back seems pretty good. We will also try and get Haka's Savage mana? No. Big big whiff. Um, punish the weak not good here. Elbow smash seems solid. Uh, unfortunately, this is this is a lot of problem. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to Enduring Intercession. And then Taeha. Yeah, card is one. Man. All right, well. Haka's swings become slightly less potent in the wake of having this many things in play or, or, or around their area. Guess we're going to try shotgun here. There's only two card would take two, so that, that helps a fair amount. What's Feral Fury? Uh, Alright, well, it's not the best, but it'll do. Yep. Come on. No, stop jumping around, you fool. And we will continue to gain health. Bestial shift. 
Not the worst, not the worst. And thing, shotgun to the face is indeed a time-honored strat. Yes. Shotgun. Even better deck show, shotgun to the face with some cleansing fire. Seems like a great way to do things. Good gosh, guys. Yep. Kind of nice that the rats are going after, uh... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at this. Directing all the damage to Haka, and it gets put to zero. Love it. This is again... Haka. Haka. The combos are real, folks. However, you know, not necessarily intended. Ouch. Yep, there's another guard. Of course there is. And I get the feeling we're about to see everything come back in a minute. I was really hoping to have Savage Mana before now. But we play out we press on, our valiant heroes. Um uh, not super happy with that. No. That seems like a reasonable option. If we get rid of Hmm. I guess that. And then, oh yes, we're going to destroy all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to go with Mutagen. We'll remove tokens because reasons, and then we will remove more tokens. Uh, oh, nope, that was wrong. Misclick. Sorry, folks. No, no mint condition on this one. My mouse decided to jump on me. Haka, come on. Come on! No! Back off, Jerkosaurus. Alright. We have stuff. Ground Pound. What does Ground Pound do? I recall here. Discard two cards or destroy this card. Hero card. Non-heroes cannot deal damage. Start a turn, destroy this card. Well... Uh, it does give us a chance to heal up a little bit, and I don't see a better option, although Elbow Smash is a consideration. Um, the Gene Bound Guard is a problem, but I feel like Ground Pound is just is just good here. Uh, yes, I would happily discard a couple of cards. Uh, Punish the Weak is not being useful to us right now, and we already have Tomoko out. So we'll do that. Haka will deal some punchy punchy. Yeah, I guess. Come on. Yeah, that's about right. So many three hit point cards in this game. Like, good gravy. Um. Yeah, alright, let's reload. Get back the incendiary rounds, put that in play on the tack shotgun, and continue blasting away at the stalwart, if at all possible. Three damage. Um, well, it is causing problems. It'd be so good if we could, you know, just... Aha! On uh, RPG launcher not the worst um yeah all right let's go ahead and bestial shift back up to knife full we'll go ahead and gain three more hp getting up nearly to full and then we will switch to something that can actually do some damage uh, i was gonna go with trash on this one and get the crocodile dilly is that it yeah uh, or what does the rhinoceros do reduce damage dealt um Boy. Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to go with the croc here. 
Incidentally, all the narrations that I'm doing right now are pretty much the, the, the dialogue and monologue that's going through the characters' heads. Uh, I'm just not doing the voices except during uh, cutscene events. Yeah, there, there's that. But, this is quite nice. There, he's back over to his... Not Oh, gosh. The fleet is taking... Taking position. Out in the night sky above Pike Industrial, another ship appears, aiming aiming weapons at, the, at our heroes. Expatriate curses under her breath and continues pounding round after round into all of the adversaries in, in a nearby radius. Um, I already have looking up. Taking a look here. Of course not. And once again, we're we're digging here. Ay ay ay, folks. Cannot. Oh, you know what? I bet I've done. Am I am I really that stupid? Nope. It's it's still it's still in there somewhere. Yeah, uh, pretty much deck show. Oh my goodness. I need... Alright, yeah, this is good. Dominion's good. And once again, we'll do the Taieha. Get rid of the guard. And is that one immune to melee damage too? Yeah, of course it is. Expatriate shouts at setback. You know, you really should have thought of grabbing something that doesn't involve punching these ships. She takes aim with an RPG launcher. Wiping out one of the rats. Like a battle, that's not the worst. This is going to be really bad if uh, he plays the thingy and brings all the soldiers back. Oh, great. Another experimental mutagen. Yep, now there are four escaped lab rats. Yeah, this is melee. He's going to flip back over. I'm so stupid. Gosh darn it. Read the cards, dummy. Yep, there it is. Forced deployment. Grand Warlord Voss throws his head back and says, Minions, come back to life and end these puny heroes. Expatriate takes a shot to the arm and it causes her to lose consciousness. Setback takes a shot from one of the ships and he loses, He goes down as well. Yep. Du the double ships with things that can't, uh, can't do anything other than melee damage was just a bad time. Um...
double ships, a zillion rats, and everything else. Man. Well, folks, mistakes were definitely made here. Well, I guess we could... Do this. Last ditch effort from Haka. It's not going to get there, but. Is there anything to do that I can do with this forced deployment? There really isn't. And these can't take melee, so it's kind of a waste. Well, no, I guess it's not. Goodness. I guess we'll do that. Keep chomping on things. I mean, the game's not over yet, but this is going to be a problem. Yeah. Not what I needed, sorry. And there's that. Although toxic damage can hit, the, for whatever reason, toxic damage can hit the, can hit the ships. <laughs> this could get goofy, folks. Yeah, that's that's not helpful. Oy. Destroy a card. Yeah, that's about right. I guess it's that. And here comes 800 million enemies. Yes, suboptimal. Well. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, folks. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. I think this is where the heroes just kind of go down. Yep. Oh, wow. Force deployment is the worst. As our heroes become surrounded by frost, shock, melee, fire, and psionic gene bound minions, they become overwhelmed and can't weather the situation. Oh my goodness, folks. <laughs> you know... That could that could have gone... I mean, I suppose that could have gone worse. But it could have gone a lot better, too. Like, we were not drawing the cards we needed. In any way, shape, or form. But we do get to hear the awesome Grand Warlord Voss victory music, so that's kind of cool. Um, guess I need to find the game one loss. There we go. And you do, I, I, this is my favorite bit of writing that I've done. So, here we go. 
Laughing evilly, Grand Warlord Voss orders his soldiers to collect the unconscious bodies of the fallen heroes and load them onto his spacecraft. You fools! You have helped me escape this vile facility. I can now continue to bring about certain doom to your race. My gratitude will extend only as far as not killing you myself, such that you can watch your friends perish in the wake of my power. I care not what happens to you puny defenders of this godforsaken world. A gene-bound guard removes a tarp from a strange-looking ship in the back of the next warehouse. Our her the heroes are loaded roughly into a dark, cramped cargo hold. As they come to, the room is vibrating. Setback sits up and bumps his head on a cargo container. Ow! Expatriate glares at him with, with her good eye and attempts to get to her feet. Noticing that their hands have been bound behind their backs by some technology she hasn't seen before, she grits her teeth and braces herself against a nearby crate and proceeds to slam her shoulder into it. With an audible crack and an easier sorry from Setback, who has assumed the injury is his fault, she dislocates her shoulder and manages to bring her arms around in front of her to begin working on the locks. Haka finds his way into a sitting up position, which is difficult considering his height and weight in, a cramped, in such a cramped space, and begins a Maori prayer of protection. The naturalist sits up last and asks the question on all of their minds. Anyone have any idea where we're going? The ship begins to pick up speed, making everyone inside feel even more cramped than they already are. When it suddenly slows again, Setback rubs his mask out of his eyes and then vomits all over the naturalist. The naturalist uses a rag dangling from one of the crates to awkwardly wipe most of the sick from his costume, just as some of Voss's troops arrive to escort the her heroes to their destination. As their eyes adjust to the bright lights, they realize that they've been delivered somewhere unpleasant. So game two finds our heroes, the same ones. Uh, what do we have? Haka, uh, Expatriate, Setback, and The Naturalist. It was in this order. Facing off against... Well, they find themselves in the block. They've been, they've been taken to the block. The block is not a pleasant place right now. They are unwanted guests. Unwanted guests of none other than Kismet, who has seemed to who has found a way to seize control of the prison. So let's see where we go. I do love the banter between uh, Kismet and, and Setback. The fact that they are, they have a history together makes the plot of this particular story so much more enticing and, and exciting. Okay, good. All right, Setback this time is starting out with Cash Out, Exceeded Expectations, Karmic Retribution, and whoops, sorry, Haka. Enduring Intercession, Haka, Battle Haka, Shielding, and there's the Savage Mana we were looking for before. Deck. Deck, please. Is, is, this, is this a hashtag blame John moment? Um, Expatriate starts out with an Assault Rifle, Liquid Nitro Rounds, and a Brace of Tactical Shotguns. The Naturalist, whoop. The Naturalist is starting out with Cornered Beast, Crafty Assault, Environmental Allies, and Hyperactive Senses. As our heroes are ushered violently into the block, uh, you know, deck show, let's make that a thing. Hashtag heart of the cards. Um, the, the guards of the block leer at them, and the, the inmates clamor and glare at them from inside their cells. Setback looks around as he's duck marched down the hallway toward his toward his ex-girlfriend. Looking at his current girlfriend, he says, This could get ugly. We have some history. She goes, Tell me something I don't know. And cocks her, one of her shotguns. There's the talisman. 
per usual. A little psionic damage to start things off. Haha, <laughs> yes, of course it's a weak heart. Um, actually, that's not bad to go to the Naturalist, because he doesn't use his base power all that much. Good gosh, guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> lots of, uh, lots of changes coming to what I just read. Um... The warden of the prison's office has been turned into what appears to be a casino. Setback rolls his eyes and says, Looks like you've made yourself right at home. Kismet get, becomes irritated with Setback and slams her fists into all of the, of the heroes around. Alright, here we go again, folks. Let's see what we got. Um, no, not, not worth it yet. Um, there's no ongoing in play just yet. I don't think that's worth it. Yeah, wow. None of these cards are, are particularly worth it. It's that... Hmm. I think I just need to... Wow! It's just literal nothing to play. Because I don't have... Ah, looking up. Excellent. Better than nothing. Alright. Hawk is going to go ahead and start right out with Savage Mana. And, and crush Kismet in retaliation from the damage she dealt him earlier. Expatriate finishes loading her tactical shotgun, takes aim with it, and blasts Kismet in the face. You'll pay for that, says Kismet, leeringly. I use the word leer a lot. I have to look up some synonyms for that one. Um, crafty Assault seems good. Got to do some damage here. And this team is good at that. Problem is, with Grand Warlord Voss, they, uh... I mean, this is good. the weak heart's going to deal some damage here, but, uh... I honestly think having extra ways of dealing damage just seems solid here. Alright, Warden Hopeful appears. He's been cornered... Oh, hold on having been cornered by Kismet. He rubs his hands together and says, it's about to get interesting in here, folks. All right. Most cards in play reduce damage. All right, setback it is. This can destroy an ongoing card, which would be very nice. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. We can always get that back because we want to get rid of Weak Heart. And then we will go ahead and add tokens here. Um, oh, wait. Oh, shoot. I wanted to look up, didn't I? Oh, no. This is fine. Okay, another looking up. It's enduring intercession. So it's quite strong. Go ahead and continue to smash Kismet. Um, 
Um, expatriate. I like the idea of priming the assault rifle, but I don't see the point just yet. I think I'm going to use the liquid nitrogen rounds. Expatriate loads liquid nitrogen rounds into the tactical shotgun, takes aim at Kismet once more, and prevents her from dealing damage, in hopes of pre preventing her from dealing damage in the future. Ah, submachine gun, excellent. That's nice. Um, nothing there yet. Although, that may not be the worst. Um, no, we'll go ahead and... Come on. Yeah, I really like the idea of Cornered Beast. Because, once we put that uh, crocodile back into play, which we have now... The Naturalist, shaken out of his crocodile form temporarily reassumes it and readies himself to take aim once again. Yeah, that's about right. She... Wait, wait a minute. Oh, yes. Correct. It's reduced damage, not prevent it. So it's not a completely frozen... Uh... Oh my goodness. Guys. There we go. All right, when a hero would be dealt damage, remove tokens from me. Yeah, that's. I'm gonna hold on to that one. Uh, we don't have seven yet. Ah, that's gonna be really nice in a minute. High risk behavior, pretty good. Setbacks behavior becomes even riskier. As he takes aim and punches at setback or at his ex-girlfriend. You really need to cut this out. Haka pulls that staff out again and aims the Taeha that he had been using against Warlord Voss at both Kismet and the imprisoned rogue. Okay, now would be a good time for the SMG, I think. Seems fine. Okay, what do we got? Oh, yes, natural forms power was what I was thinking of here. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with this one. One target. Keep coming to Kismet. Of course it was. From the next cell, a time-crazed prisoner appears. Oh, come on. Shaking in its bed, rocking back and forth. Setback, set, setback takes one look at him and goes, What? What's wrong with you? You're in the most high security and traveling prison in the world. You get to see everything, everything, everything that's out there. I don't see why you would... I don't see how you could... Or, past, sorry, everything that's out there, past, present, and future. I don't see why that's a, such a bad life. Expatriate groans at her boyfriend and says, Do you ever stop talking? Well, that's just annoying, is what that is. Good gosh, guys. Setback needs to, uh... Oh, lord. Destroy four ongoing or equipment cards. All right, well, we got an extra one of those in play right now, so that's a thing. Um, two, yep. Three, I guess. And, yeah, this is not doing what, I, what I'd hoped it would.
All right, let's see if we can gain some health back. Uncharmed life seems like a good way to do that. And we will go ahead and oh, friendly fire. <laughs> that sounds like something. Sounds it sounds about right. Vitality surge, not the worst idea, I'll be honest. But I also quite like rampage because that's going to put both. Yeah, that's going. to... Yeah, let's let's do that. Um, time for his prisoner. Let's get him under the sav uh, in the pants. Hit him in the pants. Yes. Let's deal with this. Yep, that's fine. Uh, and we'll go ahead and. Uh, well, I mean, it's just it doesn't matter. Yeah. Ouch. What's this? Um, no. Taeha it is. A little friendly fire, well, friendly-ish fire between Warden Hopeful and, uh, pants hitting for great justice. Absolutely. I mean, that's what Legacy, oh, you know what? Setback says that. Deck chill. It's a good line for setback. Haha, <laughs> pants hitting for great justice. Expatriate rolls her eyes. And... Is there... There are some... Uh, not good ones, though. I guess I guess having speed loading ready to go is, is, is not the worst. Quick draw. Ooh, nice. Very cool, very cool. Um... <laughs> I only have eight. It's really not the best here. Um, try that hyperactive senses thing again. I suppose. Although crafty assault wouldn't be the worst either. Let's try that. We'll do warden hopeful and kismet. Wait. Oh. Okay. That's unfortunate. It's fine. Deadly crocodile. Um, yep, come at her. Our heroes are currently blundering around the block, trying desperately to catch up with Kismet. Aha, yet another time crazed prisoner. Really? You guys are just losers. Okay. Shake your arm, naturalist. Weak heart, naturalist. <laughs> Poor naturalist! Oh, yeah, there's two left feet. Hey, I already have two left feet. It's no big deal. Yes, of course you gained no hit points, but you did attack Haka. You jerk! Alright, so let's see what some of these jinxes did. Um... Plays a card, deals himself damage. That's annoying. Uh, reduce damage by a bunch. And then whenever that... <laughs> well, I guess setback could go could drop into a support role here. Um, it's going to be really annoying if he starts dealing himself damage. Whenever a hero deals a non-hero target damage, also deals... That? No, definitely not. Um, he has eight currently. And seven of them deal one target, seven melee damage. All right, yeah, we'll do this. We'll go ahead and do that. And he's going to take no damage from the, <laughs> the two left feet and shaky arm. Yay, nothing happens! Um, we'll come right at her, I think. And he will, of course, have to discard a card. Um, it's probably going to be friendly fire. It's just, like... Friendly Fire just adds a bunch of tokens, and I'm not currently ready to deal with that. So, um, this is yeah, not the worst here. Uh, da, 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 da. Haka to put things under Savage Man. All right, we're going to go ahead and do Warden Hopeful. Hopefully Haka can do a couple of damage to some stuff. Nope. 
I'll do that. Okay, Haka, what do you got for us, buddy? Ground pound. Mm. Eh. I think I'd rather do the Vitality Surge. Yeah, Tomoko seems very good. Uh, we'll go ahead and Taieha. Yeah, buddy. Buddy. Oh, oh, oh. You know, that was not as successful as I'd hoped it would be. Neither one of them are getting hit in the pants. They get hit, just, you know, not in the pants. Yep, that's fine. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and quick draw. Scanning around the, the block for guards holding her weapons, Expatriate finds one of Warden Hofel's agents holding her prized gun pride. Give me that, she says. Taking aim once again with the tactical shotgun. Ooh, hair trigger. That's good. Yeah. Um, okay, what is he... Is it probably good to know what he has. Weak heart. And he uses a power. Uh, what's dealing damage? Kismet deals it. Well, that's that's not uh, that's not ideal. Uh, I think hyperactive senses seems good here. Let's take a look at Haka's deck, and let's take a look at the at Kismet's deck. Cool. All right, so. That's, I would rather not see that. Yeah, we'll do that from top. Let's see if we can just take her. Ah, uh, no, not Haka, Restoration type. Doesn't matter. Eh, just go ahead. Hit, hit, hit her! And the weak heart takes effect. The naturalist doubles over in pain as his heart begins to hurt. Haka looks over concernedly, but naturalist raises an arm, and uh, indicating he's all right. It's a little bit difficult for a, a crocodile to raise an arm, I suppose, but... Hm, rude. Uh, each player discards cards, so that's fine. Friendly fire... Haka of Restoration. Assault Rifle. This is a pretty easy decision this time. Uh, this is fine. We can go right in the bin, because if we need it, we can get it. Ooh, he's a one. Yikes. Alright, exceed expectations. Excuse me. Yep, that's fine. Just one. We're going to slam her. Oh boy, oh boy, folks. Um, add three, do one three. Yeah, that's fine. Yay. All right, Haka. Let's see you put. Um, so that's total of one, two. Three, four. Total of four. Plus the three is seven. That's not quite nine. That's not. Well, alright. Yeah, well, I'm gonna do it. Just wanna get this, uh, this party started here. One, two, three, four. Yep, we will do that. And we'll go ahead and seven damage this. Six, you know, still works. Yes, put him under savage mana. Punch the officers in the in the pants. Hm. Um, hair trigger seems very good. 
and then she will once again take a shot with ye oldie shotgun. I like Expatriate in these games where you just need to deal a bunch of damage. Because you get that shotgun out and just like, four, four, four! Um, that would be good. Ooh, no, that would not be. Well, it doesn't hurt anything. Dealt to one target by one until the start of your next turn. Uh, yeah, alright. Seems fine. Increase damage to her. Please, and thank you. Uh, you may draw up to two cards. You, 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 uh, no. Don't really care. He's not going to last a whole lot longer. So we'll just go ahead and pound her for as much as we can. Seems fine. Actually, pound her for as much as we can means... Dead you! We have recovered the block, folks. Okay, to win. Oh, this is another... I, I'm so happy we won this one. This is another one of my favorite bits of writing. All right. As our heroes managed to lock up... To return... Kismet to her rightful cell... Haka takes the filter agent's out of his savage mana and returns them to their proper place of authority. They begin to run down... The heroes begin to run down the hall. They run for quite a, quite some time before Setback says, Is there ever a time when we can stop running? Clutching a stitch in his chest. Expatriate turns and sprints down another corridor, hoping that th this path leads them out of the prison block. Guards and prisoners are running in every direction in the ensuing chaos, and nobody seems to have a clue which direction a ship could be in. Setback looks up, and in doing so, trips over a bionic leg that he presumed belonged at one point to a guard or a prisoner of some kind. Rather than wasting time helping Setback to his feet, Haka simply picks him up and runs with him like a linebacker straight down the hallway. Gun, gun, I need a gun. Expatriate looks around frantically for something that she could use to carve a path through the wreckage of the prison riots. Looking at a side closet, she notices the familiar sight of an RPG launcher, and brings it to bear, pointing at the nearest group of scuffling guards and inmates. The naturalist looks around, and notices that they are standing next to a transparisteel barrier to the outside. If Expatriate were to discharge her RPG launcher here, they would all be sucked out of the block and into deep space. Assuming the form of a rhino, the naturalist slams Expatriate out of the way and through a wall. Fuming, Expatriate brings their RPG launcher to bear against her teammate. Setback and Haka slam through the wall next, you couldn't go through the hole they just made? It's two inches to the left! And as Setback brushes concrete and sediment from his hair, he notices that by some miracle of happenstance, they've found the main hangar containing all manner of filter spacecraft. Look! He shouts, somehow managing to distract Expatriate. Her shot skirts wide of her intended target and lands instead on the nearest group of pr rioting prisoners. The team whirls around and boards the nearest vessel. Expatriate retrieves her guns from a storage crate near the craft, that was lucky, exclaims Setback, perhaps too excitedly, and slams one into the temple of the ship's pilot. Enclave of the Endlings. Get us there now. Alright, on we go to issue three, folks. That was a good win. We will take it. Right to the bank. Oops. Our team, of course remains unchanged and set back come on get in there all right now of course the finale will take place at the enclave of the endlings uh and the villain this time around will be none other than i mean who better to to guard a um an artifact than the aeneid Sorry, I need a second, folks. Um, literally just an second, but... Alright. Um, yeah, so here we go. Alright. 
All right, this time setback is starting out with cause and effect, reckless rush, silver lining, and uncharmed life. Haka, enduring intercession, Haka of restoration, and a brace of Taieha. Expatriate, arsenal access, flak jacket, speed loading, and submachine gun. Naturalist, cornered beast, feral fury, natural forms power, and the formidable rhinoceros. Makes sense considering he just charged through a wall as a rhinoceros. Well, sort of. All right, the shrine of the Aeneid. Whenever a villain target would be destroyed, flip it over instead. This villain, this card, and all cards beneath this card are indestructible and cannot be removed by the from the play area. Shoo! Lovely. Oh, great! Another thing immune to per melee damage. Jeb, Adam, and Isis. Take a quick look at these. It's been a while since I played against the Aeneid. I'm just gonna take a quick look at the cards. Uh, first time a villain card is put in the trash, deals some stuff. Uh, Adam, first time a Ankh card is put into the villain trash each turn. Reveal cards from the top of the villain deck until a circular thingy orange card is revealed. Play that card, shuffle the other revealed into the villain deck. Isis, first time a hand or Ankh is put into the villain trash each turn. This card deals the hero with the most cards in play. Two infernal damage. Alright, well... We shall see what happens. That is unpleasant. Oh boy, all the damage to start things off. As Setback disembarks the ship, he notices that the the Enclave of the Endlings is being guarded by something. Without thinking, he rush, rushes into them. Um, so that's not helpful. Oh yeah, melee. <laughs> of course it's looking up. It's always looking up. That's there. Taeha seems great, except for the fact that Shu is in play, which is particularly annoying. All right, what do we got here? Black Jacket. We will also, for the first time, use her base power. Go ahead and play out a submachine gun. Get some guns ready. We'll go ahead and start with the Rhinoceros. Draw some cards. Aha! Guess I know what we're going for next. And this will probably be another target. Oh, it's Frazat. Okay. Second lowest. Aha! And it's energy damage, so that's coming right at shoe. Since we can't hit it with anything else. Oh. Good gravy. So annoying. Uh, yes, Neuro Badger, we did. Uh, although I'm starting to think that uh, it may not have been the best thing, and I will uh, I will explain why at the end of this particular match. Um, ongoing or environment card. So Frazat could potentially, no, no. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to back that up. Uncharmed Life seems better here.
Adam's being particularly annoying at this moment. Um, no. Yeah, we'll go ahead and during intercession because that could get bad. Deck show that is fantastic. Yeah, we'll go ahead and arsenal access and century rounds. Shoot and gun. Definitely. Uh, I guess it's just everything, right? So second lowest. Uh... Alright, wait, is it... It's non-environment card, but yeah. So that's currently a shoe, right? Second lowest, yep. So we are going to go ahead and... Uh, do this while we've got it. Um... Because the rest of these are like, oh. I kind of don't care about like literally any of these oh wait a minute oh that's quite nice actually so we're gonna go ahead and do this we're gonna go ahead and find that one <laughs> Grum. All right. Second highest HP. Yeah. Could it be that the endlings are actually going to be useful in this game? Like that would be rad. Ah, darn. That's okay. That seems solid. What have we got? Two. Draw a card, deal. Yes. Plucky break. Setback looks in, in, on the ground where they're fighting and finds something he thinks is kind of cool. He bends over to pick it up. Nope, that doesn't work, but you can take it. This is, as per, as per usual, being particularly annoying. Um, what does Dream do? With the second lowest hit points. Second lowest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Um, Haka of Restoration. No. I mean, Rampage is surely a thing. Problem being, Setback will go to the lowest because the melee damage can't hit Shu. So I feel like Vitality Search is the right the right call here. Yep, that's fine. And then Taieha. Um, I mean, I, Isis is is still just just a pain in the butt. Um, 
You heard it here folks. first, folks. ISIS is a pain in the butt. Expatriates. Um, she already has an SMG. Assault Rifle's probably not the worst. Like, might be just a little bit better than, than one to everything. In fact, I think it quite very much is just a little bit better. Um, let's project up. What? Is he damaged? Oh, rude. That means I have to use the endlings to kill him? That's really, really irritating. All right. I mean, well, no, it's not. Not completely. Um, because I can I can use the naturalist as well. Um, so that's the thing. I suppose biting down on ice is, is probably not, you know, the, the strongest idea. Oh, what do we got? Bunch of, I, I, I did have a bunch of... Aha! Yes, Feral Fury. Uh, this is melee damage, so coming at Isis. And then this damage is coming at Shu. You know, interestingly enough, uh, my friend Alex, who does, who I do my uh, Gears of War streams with, he and I have a friend named Shu, or we call him Shu. Once in a while, I just love to punch him. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Keep going. All right, come on, endlings, do some do some good work. Redirect any... Hold on. Any damage that would be able to a target other than this target. Ugh. Wait. What? That's so weird. <laughs> this is super weird. Sorry, I... Like, Imidus is very odd. I mean, I guess we survive. That's kind of nice. But, like... Oh man, so much selection. I mean, I don't think he's not going to last very long. There's a lot of damage being thrown around right now. So, our heroes look up as a strange con construct looking thing steps in front of all the damage that, they, that they're trying to deal. Get out of my way! Yells expatriate as her shots begin to whistle wide of their intended targets. The last Fortrian looks around and continues accepting shots from all around it. <laughs> this is super odd. Yeah. I, I gotta be honest, like, not the worst draw in the world because it mitigates the entire villain turn. Unfortunately, it's there's a there's a solid chance that this doesn't oops <laughs> yeah deadlock I'll give you that okay so that thing's at eight um boy I mean oh reckless rush not the worst here um can't literally do anything to anything other than imidus so just hit it for four and then we'll continue to do the same. It's quite annoying that I couldn't quite get that. Um, Mir, not the worst idea. Although, I mean, Taeha is great. Uh, oh. Hmm. Uh, that's not strong because I need Sreem to take out Shu. So I'll hang on to that for a minute. Um, Haka Frustration, not the worst. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually Neurobadger. I think Rampage might be the right call. Unfortunately, it's... Like it's eh, Rampage is always the right call. Send it! Alright, first one's Amidus, obviously. And then we just hit it. Yes, that is exactly what I did, Neuro Badger. Uh, no. 
definitely not sending it all to setback. That would be wildly irresponsible. Um, so we do have the problem of the fact that Shu is no longer the second lowest. How do we change that? So I can wipe out Isis here, which is quite good. That puts second lowest. That becomes, um, yes, that, that'll do it, right? And then just take aim at either Geb or Adam. Yeah, I think my math is right there. We'll see what happens. Wipe out Isis, please and thank you. Entomb. Um, and then second lowest. Yeah, so all targets. Yeah, good, good, good. I need to read this. Non-environment target, second lowest. All right, that's fine. Uh, that puts, we'll do Geb. Yep. All right, now we need to, we need to pick our targets very, very carefully here, folks. And that is actually what Expatriate says, sorry. Speed loading, very good. Let's do it. All right, the SMG will keep everything. <laughs> Second lowest. Oh no, that's gonna aim at its setback. Crud buckets. Um. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That's that's what's keeping that in in, in check. So I guess if I assault rifle at Adam and Geb. What's that going to do? Yeah, it's projectile damage, so it can't hit shoe. Some thoughts that are taking place in expatriate's mind faster than the speed of light <laughs> that I'm just taking time to narrate out. As she's running and gunning, apparently. Um, if I do submachine gun... That's one to everything. The problem being, that goes to 14, 15. Okay. I really, the problem. <laughs> oh, no, 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 because it can't hit shoe. Good lord, this is difficult. Um, I guess we'll just try this here. We do, so second lowest. That will stay at lowest, at 13. That'll go to 19. All right, well, let's see what happens. We'll shoot, we'll shoot first and ask questions later. How's that sound? Assault, assault rifle to Jeb. That's, that's what I was thinking. All right. So pausing for a moment here. Turn it over to naturalist. Okay. Currently, the, the standings are lowest, second lowest. Yep. Okay. We're good. Um, they, they sure are fighting Earth. Um... Ah, hyperactive senses seems very good here. Let's look at the Aeneid. And let's look at Haka. This would be kind of nice to be able to... Alright. That will go on top. Um, Dominion would be better. There's going to be a fair amount of that. All right. Natural forms power. Now, two targets, one toxic damage each. So that's going to be Shu and Nephthys, which would keep them at lowest and second lowest. Yep. Shu. And Nephthys. Go. Someone want to fill Dragon in? Unless. Let's talk at. 
point, that's fine. Uh, each thing. Ugh. That's just, that's rude is what that is. I mean, it works. I'll do a, a little summary at the end, Dead, uh, Deadlock and Dragon. Wow, the Endlings are, are taking care of business here. Uh, no. Um, top four. <laughs> That's just unpleasant, is what that is. Good thing Tachyon's not. Uh, well, yep, Elemental Storm. We knew that was coming. No. Stupid. I'm using that to gain hit points. That's it. Ooh, Hawk is in trouble. Gonna take out Pounding here. Alright, um. You know, do things. They absolutely do. And there's a setback line. Ugh. The endlings are trying their best to help out, but this is uh this is interesting. Alright, where are we where are we at? Oh, for goodness sakes, looking up. Alright, so I gotta start removing some points here. Um, so, lowest hit points currently is Haka and Setback. Second lowest, still Shu. You know, JZC, Twitch notifications have been notoriously aggravating lately. And I, I don't know what it is. I have a friend who's streaming right now for um, St. Jude Hospital. Uh, she's doing some fundraising stuff. And, like, I didn't get a notification that she was live. And I was like, that's that's just... There. Yep, I think Setback is going to start soaking some damage. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to put Silver Lining into play. Try and keep him uh, as alive as possible. Especially considering we can... Oh, well. Gain some health back. Punt! It's alright. We can, uh, we can, host we can actually hawk up Restoration. Although Ground Pound, uh, non-hero cards can't deal damage. Not ideal. Um, alright, so, Haka is currently the lowest, nope, sorry, Nephthys is. Uh, and I really don't want Stream to hit Haka. So that means I either need to put Nephthys down this turn, which I could do, or have Haka gain some health. Ground Pound seems... Ground Pound seems okay, but like... Well, actually... And just... Yeah? No? Okay. Yeah, Ground Pound gives us a chance to build up. So we will go ahead and do that, and if I need to, I will happily uh, Haka of Restoration next turn. I missed Friday's stream because I was at work. It's uh, John uh, Twitch is blocked at the at the schools, which kind of is a bummer. Um, so this gives us an extra turn to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do just pound the idiot here as hard as I possibly can, and we'll try and get try and get into the position where stream can take out Shu as soon as we open that back up. Um, I will go ahead and put this on top of the deck. And then... Um, assault Rifle. This is Projectile, so... Yep. Yay, Assault Rifle. Okay, there's the Incendiary Rounds, so that's quite nice. Um. Okay, Predator's Eye. 
That'll be next turn, I think, because... Oh, yeah, yeah, because then we can increase the damage done to Shu. Uh, nope, not Indomitable Force. Corner Beast. Three or... F oh. That's... Hmm. Lou Dolphin, are you still around? Uh, with an effect like cornered, uh, with, uh, uh, sorry, with an effect like cornered beast, can you destroy part of the Aeneid? Is that a valid target? So, like, if I get something down to three, can I destroy it with cornered beast? Sick. All right, cornered beast it is. Can't do it yet, but it's coming. Yeah, that's see, that's what I was thinking. So, okay, let's let's do it. Uh, shoo, please and thank you. And um, let's go ahead and hit. Well, that this is almost gone. Adam, I guess. All right, so now nothing can deal damage this turn, which is quite nice. Um, none of these endlings and stuff. What do we got? Last Mabloxian. At the end of the environment turn, deals each something, each thing, two toxic damage. That's quite nice. Uh, so that'll, that'll open up and we can target things. Right, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, so. Awesome, ta awesome mectacular. Yeah, that's about right. Now we get new it. And destroy three ongoing or equipment cards. Well, looking up can go away. Um, well, ground pound's going to get destroyed anyway, so that's a thing. Um, SMG's not doing as much. Yeah, but they can't deal damage, so that's fine. Wait, what? Hey! Oh, shoot! I just did that completely wrong. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Lol. Um, flak jacket, whatever. Uh, SMG, whatever. And looking up. Oh wait, speed loading. See, I like speed loading because I can start cycling in um, extra damage cards. Yes. Hashtag thanks, John. I don't care if you're gaining health. That's perfectly fine. And does not bother me in one way or another. Okay, what is new? It's shtick. Oh, okay. Her, her hit points were just not appearing. For some reason. Um, high risk behavior. For every three tokens, that's, that's three damage. All right. Um, problem is I'd have to find something that deals damage. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Um. Ooh. I mean, that could basically wipe shoe right there. Do I do it? Yeah, you know what? Setback would, would totally do that. Um, corruption. Each card, one melee. Yeah. Let's get rid of corruption. And we'll go ahead and 10 damage to shoe. Well, it's 9. Okay, well, still. And then he takes 10. Ouch. <laughs> That's a very setback thing to do. He takes a risk. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. Let's try one more. I guess it is speed loading here. Take one ammo card from the tree. Yeah, see, I, I, I don't want to do that. It's just that's too good. Does Haka have another Taeha? No, he doesn't. Um. 
man. I mean, his turn's next, so. Yeah, that's fine. Ground pad's going away anyway. Um, Grom. Let's get, a gr get rid of Grom. Uh, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Dolphin. Um, Hog of Restoration is a consideration here. One target, three melee damage. Ugh. Um. Yep, exactly, side of scene. Oh, good to see you, buddy. All right, well, here we go. Yeah, we'll start. We've got to start slamming a new it at some point here. This is melee, so... Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, based on the fact that Naturalist is going to take out Shu here. Um, Expatriate! Shock rounds, please and thank you. Incendiary rounds in play. Assault rifle is ready to go. What'd you see, buddy? See Guardians? Because that's what we're playing tonight, kind of. Alright. That'll whack shoe. And now we can focus fire on other stuff. Yeah, Guardian's so good. Um, I will say, like, as a movie, it was I mean, it was fine, but like it was so much fun that I and I cannot wait to go again. Like it was not the cinematically like coolest movie in the world, or best movie in the world. I it wasn't, you know, Citizen Kane or something like that. But it was so, so much fun. And, I, like, I cannot... Uh, I, I cannot recommend it enough. So, so much fun. I guess it doesn't matter now. Melee, two, one toxic. Yeah. Let's start going for power. And going for speed. Naturalist is ready to rock. Doc. Rockin' docking. Alright, what do we got here? Endlings. What are you gonna do for us? Hall of the Terminarch. At the end of the environment turn. Okay. That is considered to have the second lowest. Um, well, everything's getting getting hit here, so I guess it doesn't matter. We're on our way, folks! Yes, it, cor correct. Exactly correct. It, w it was not by any means trying to... Um, trying to be anything that it wasn't and uh you know everything right down to the the subtleties in the end credits were perfectly executed all right can we stay alive through this turn if we can i think we got this yes yeah okay um Fumbling Fool. Uh, probably not the best. Turn of events. Remove four. We can do that. Every other player may use a power now. And then he deals himself two. Yeah, that seems fine. <laughs> Alright, Haka. He's definitely going to need to use Haka of Restoration here. Um, up to two targets. So I guess we're going to go with New It. Because she can take full damage. And Nephthys, because then I can drop her with a thing. Uh, 
Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, where did Set come from? Gross. Alright. Cornered Beast will destroy Nephthys. Set back will deal himself some damage. Haka will restore here. Um, in just a moment. Yeah, that's about right. All right, Haka restoration. Haka battle, double smash. Just gain some health back. Yep. Going to seven is is better than uh, better than zero. So we will go ahead. And smashy smashy again, although it'd be good to take out new it. No. No. Stop asking if I want to deal setback damage. I really don't particularly want to do that. Although silver lining is kinda nice. Uh, put it on top of the deck, do that. Play the shock rounds. And then an SMG, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll go straight to her. Uh, just shock rounds. To everything. Yay! Oh, shoot. No. Okay. Whatever. No. I don't want to deal things to set back. <laughs> Alright, next up. Um, just try and get Nua down with the rest of the team. Stop asking. Alright. This is, uh, is going to be a thing. It's going to be a tight one, folks. Too many humans in most theaters. I do not disagree with you in any way, shape, or form, Cytosine. Yes. Do I have a target with three or less? No, but I will. Do it then. Do it the old fashioned way with damage. I. So, Captain America the Winter Soldier actually came out on my birthday that year, which was really, really super cool. And we'll go ahead and uh, go again. Did I just do the right one? Oh, hold on. No, shoot. Oh wait, uh, yeah, I did. Because I can only, yeah, okay, never mind. Never mind. Set. All right, I need to know what the uh, endlings are gonna do here. Three non-environment targets with the highest HP. Oh, rubbish. Two. All right, highest HP. So expatriate, naturalist, and set, I guess. That's irritating. Uh, Bosto lowest one melee. Okay, that's fine. That's not going to hurt anything. I don't think. Probably will, but, you know, whatever. Um, I guess if I smash Adam with this, just to reinforce that. Well, will see what happens. Probably gonna flip set back, but we're uh, we're still we're not dead yet. Oh, really? That's sick. I 
Okay, so this is coming at everything. We'll start with the jerks. That's, okay, so silver lining. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, no. Wait, wait, Hawk is at seven. Okay, so he's at five. He will live another turn. Haka is at one. That's not good. Ugh, gross. No, Haka definitely will not be dealing damage. Um, gross. Gross, gross, gross. Oh my goodness. Well, that's unpleasant. Oh my goodness. Okay, so setback is officially down and out here. Into your hand. All right. Two melee damage. Oh my goodness, guys. Five is good. Oh, I can wipe out set here. On the villain turn, that's kind of rad. Flip you. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Alright, here we go. Oh, really, Tefnut? Are you kidding me? Come on, just turn the page. Please. Oh, gosh. Come on. Thank you. All right, we are down to the wire, and Tefnut is at full health. So, naturalist, let's do it. Corner beast helps. It's four and four. We got Haka. All right. Yeah, that's this is not uh, not ideal. All right. Oh, you know what? Oops. I am silly. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, I'm not. Okay, no, I did that right. Just gotta keep hammering away. So many targets in play right now, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. He's 11. Not this turn. Alright, I need to once again know what all the endlings are going to be doing. Second highest will be one of them. Or, well, maybe. Second highest is currently Geb. Nope. Sorry, it's the naturalist. So... 
That's not good. That one's not gonna be good. You know what? There are so many targets in play! Grumble setback, unable to help. I can't decide what to do next. Have a good night, Deck Show. If we can just survive this, this, oh, well, okay, hold on. Um, so Naturalist and Tefnut would be hide if I entomb Adam right here. <laughs> I'm so nervous, guys. <laughs> this is so crazy. Alright, alright. Well, here we go. Tefnut. Stop doing things! Okay, okay. It's fine. Tefna's the only one left. Okay, Imidus is back. That's not good. That is so not good, folks. Although it keeps Expatriate alive. Oh boy. Oh, good lord. Alright, um, Assault Rifle can go two and, uh, three. Goes to Imidus. Alright, this, this is... Uh. <laughs> Yes. And just level it all at because it's gonna go to Imidus. No, Imidus is not helping in any way.
I mean, yeah, I think I think that's accurate. Like, I, we, we kind of just have to let him take Imidus down and then pray. I'm actually going to go ahead and just play a card here. I'm, I'm literally just going to let them take Imidus down. He sure does. What a jerk. Oh! Oh! Destroy an ongoing card. It's not... Eh. Oh! Oh. Ha <laughs> That's kind of nice. <laughs> that that could be our line right there, folks. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, Imidus, you get in the way so bad. Jerkosaurus. I'm surprised that it's... Oh. Oh, really? That'll be game right there. Fine. Unless the environment can somehow... De well... Yeah, I think Osiris just kills us. Oh man, so, so close. <laughs> What's even more irritating is like, they're, they're wheedling Imidus down at an infinitesimal rate, like, sure what my cat's doing down there. Oh, man. Wow, this has been a weird battle. Im Imidus just totally wrecked the plot. There, There's just stone nothing going on now. And Blogo. have anything to play. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's exactly right. Real fan of Fnatic. I mean, I guess. I'm just going to survivalist mode. There's so much going on that I think this is starting to lag my computer. <laughs> Which is kind of unreasonable because my computer's a beast.
something needs to be done about... Oh my gosh, there is only one card left in the environment deck. And there it is. This is so weird. Yeah. Expatriate is literally just sitting back and watching the Endlings beat up on uh, the Aeneid. Or, or more, more specifically, beat up on Imidus. He's almost gone here, folks. There really are so many gosh darn Endlings. Like there, there is there is a legitimate chance that the endlings can take care of the Aeneid, and expat, expat has nothing to do. But I'm like, yeah, oh, Neurobadger, you're right. Have we... Did... Wait. Uh... Okay. That's fine. But, like... Oh, man. I... We may have just... Created some kind of stalemate. This might be actually unwinnable and unlosable. Yeah, no, I'm really actually quite confused. Um, okay, so there goes Imidus. Yeah, like... Gosh, this is... Um, I did not prepare for this. So, like, I don't have... I guess I'd read the loss condition? I... Wow. Um... There's no cards in the deck. Hold on. In the trash is currently Imidus. Yeah. I don't... I legitimately don't see a way out of this. <laughs> this is super... I, I'm not even going to get to the back story, the, the backup story in this particular stream. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, we, I think we just pull a Dormammu here. This is so odd. I... I guess? Um... Sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's correct, Dolphin. Like, I, I do... No, I do think there's a way to win. But, like... Real fan, that, that might actually not be the worst idea. Yeah. One environment card that can be destroyed. Yeah. Damaging the need. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, okay. Alright, alright. In the meantime... I do have the wherewithal to smash Osiris for as much as possible. No, I, I think Dolphin's got it. I think you just let Imidus do his thing. 
and then every turn that you have the ability to, you just smash the smash them. And there's a bunch of stuff that's going to go down at the at the start of the turn. So let's see what happens. Ah, see now there's two. That's fine. It's not the and it's not Imidus. So Yep. Naturalist prevents that. See? We're not uh, we're not totally we're not totally um, up a creek yet. Okay. Whatever. Uh, sure. We'll get those back eventually. It's, it's going to be a while, but Naturalist, in, in, natural sim cap is insanely powerful right now. It's fine. Oh, here we go. Okay, that 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 axe is Tefnut. So we're just down to Osiris now, and then it's fine. Okay, Imidus is back, so we weather the storm for a little while. But we're down to only one member of the Aeneid left. So, fingers crossed. Yep. Okay, there are there's nothing under the thing, so not uh, not ideal, but uh, here we are. That's whatever. <laughs> we are deep in the tank tonight, folks. Alright. So, setback. That's, I mean... What's expat got left in her deck? 20 cards. So, I guess, yeah, we really we really need that SMG. Um, what does this say? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. What's she got in hand? Quick draw. Predators of Pride. All right, well, might as well. Hero, I mean, at some point, like, the heroes should just, like, come back to life, I feel. Because <laughs> they're just sitting there twiddling their thumbs. Alright. Um, do I let her draw a card, or do I present, prevent, pre prevent the damage? Like, I guess nothing's... Uh, no, she's going to draw a card because... Ah! Sick rips. Now let's see if we can hang on to it. Um... I think we just RPG Imidus, and then, I mean, I can go back, but, like, I feel like we just RPG Imidus, and then prevent all damage and just redirect it all at Osiris as best we can. Oh, no? Well, it's, it's going to get discarded, is the problem. There's like three or four discard triggers. <laughs> oh. Well, either way. Okay. Yep, that's, that's, yep. Yep, double draw. 
Seems fair. Hopefully that'll get us enough to, uh... to whack Blue Go. Naturalist turn's very easy. Kind of a no-brainer. Look, I'm shuffling and card. Uh, <laughs> Look, I'm shuffling and card. Now taking bets, how many more times are we going to hear the beginning of the Enclave of the Endlings song? was unexpected. I think we just lose here. <laughs> wow. That, uh... That sure was a thing. <laughs> yep. That, that is indeed what happens. That was that was just rude, Osiris, is what that was. I think we're just dead here. Oh! Nope, because it's it's not uh yeah. That that was a lot of damage. Alright, so <laughs> Battered, bruised, and beaten, the team watches as the laughing of the Aeneid and the Endlings fades into the distance. Setback passes out in a crumpled heap. Expatriate feebly shoots one final round in the general direction of the noise, but it doesn't come close to reaching its mark. The naturalist's crocodile form flickers and then fades. Haka is the last to pass out. As he does so, he notices that something's not quite right. With so uh, Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. I have to change something on the fly here because, uh, it, uh, well, it didn't become relevant. Yeah, okay. Um, he noticed that something's not quite, quite right with Set's mask. 
Hakka's eyes begin to shut as Set drops his mask to the floor. Now, who knew that could be so easy? I'm gonna have to do this more often. Stepping out of the shadows... Step... <laughs> Stepping out of the shadows... is a purple and yellow clad figure wearing a Santa Claus hat, a false mustache, and carrying an equally purple and very empty, currently, sack over his shoulder. He begins to shovel the, art the artifacts that the Aeneid had been guarding and whistling sharp-dressed man by ZZ Top. The final page of this issue depicts a pile of both heroes and villains alike with guys sitting at a folding table wearing a crown and slurping spaghetti from a plate in front of him. He shrugs and says, What? It had to happen at some point. The caption reads, Guys will return in Guys Kills the Entire Multiverse. So there you have it. There's a the, fi the conclusion, finally, to this crazy bit of business. Um, oh boy. I do have a backup story uh, for this, but being that I'm already half an hour over the time that I expected to be playing this, uh, we will save that backup story as uh, I'm going to do a collection of one shots, which I have written down in my handy dandy uh, strictly worse or strictly worse than Wraith book. Um, so we will I will add the backup story to that. Um, so I really really hope you guys enjoyed tonight's broadcast of Tales from the Archive. I know I really did. That was a lot of fun uh, on Handle Aubrey Games. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share our channel both on social media and in person. You can follow Handle Aubrey on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as Handle Aubrey Games on Twitch. If you want to see more content from me, including the Adjacent Hex podcast and the occasional sketch comedy video, Facebook.com forward slash Another Letdown is the place to be for that. If you have story submissions for me or to tackle or just want to say hi, hit me up on Twitter. My name is at D-E-N-O-N-C-Z-D. I also do live streams of other video games, primarily Gears of War, but we just uh, started scheduling Earthfall, which is going to be very exciting, on my team's Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv forward slash another letdown. Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, and PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam and always in good old-fashioned uh, cardboard and ink. Uh, this box is getting very heavy. I can't wait for the uh, the big the big box. Um, you can get the game and more info at sentinelsdigital.com. As always, thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget, uh, Tales of the Archive will be back on Saturday next week because I don't have free comic book day to interrupt me. So, with that, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you next week.